What if school was a place where students were engaged and inspired? What if all learners, pre-K through 12th grade, were problem solvers, creators, communicators, and collaborators? What if classes offered real-world, relevant, authentic learning experiences? What if students could develop the skills most valued by employers? With a new tech model, we will provide a pre-K through 12th grade pathway for students to incorporate the principles. Teaching that engages, culture that empowers, technology that enables, and outcomes that matter. Educational transformation is happening across the country and here at Wynwood City Schools. I remember the very first day of school, my teachers were just like, all right, get up, introduce yourself to your new group. Like, I, I was just put, I was like a deer in headlights. I was so used to just doing my book work, turning it in and getting my credit. I was so used to teachers giving me worksheets and learning out of textbooks. It was difficult at first, but it became a lot easier very quickly, and it gets easier for me every day. Switching over last year to project-based learning and going to the Academy of Global Studies, was life-changing for me, both as a professional and personally. Um, I would ne I would never go back. You, you start with um, the the core values, the core lessons that you're supposed to learn, the standards, and you go from there and you and you work your way into how you're going to make that engaging, how you're going to make this authentic, how you're going to make it real to the student, how are you going to make them want to buy in and be a part of this thing, how are you going to make a real-world problem that they want to solve. It completely revamped and changed everything I knew about education. The projects are not just projects, but they're standards-based projects. So it would have been the same material that you learned from the textbook. where well, you take the test, you forget the material. The projects just brings it alive, and then you start internalizing it and making it real for you every day. So in essence, it's the same idea of teaching the standards and the content in the sections of a book, except for it's meaningful and it's purposeful. They're able to use critical thinking skills, uh, delve deeper into the material, and then actually apply it. That first group project kind of taught me that Project-based learning isn't like doing projects in traditional education. It's a lot easier than that. You all use your special skills, your strengths and weaknesses, and you put them together and you compromise and then you reach your goal. If you want to get the job done right and if you want it to be easier for you, you have to push yourself to collaborate. That means talk to the people around you, work with them. If you have a question, don't be afraid to ask them about it. If I don't know something, I know someone else knows it, then I ask that person. It's about collaborating. There's always some kind of collaboration piece where you have to be able to communicate with other people and, and do everything you can to, to make sure that the product that you produce is the best it can be. The students buy in and they own their projects. They own what they're doing. What they are producing is theirs. In the process of developing their product, they learn as much as they can about the concepts. When you make something meaningful to a student, you can make it meaningful in a way at their level. So those kids who understand everything the first time you say it, you can push them further than you've ever pushed them before. But in addition, it's for those students who don't necessarily understand things that well. Being able to incorporate physical interpretations of mathematics specifically helps them to understand what the numbers mean and then help them to remember it. The questions that they ask, they, they, they show that they're grasping concepts at a level that's that's greater than what you even expected them to get in the beginning. Once you get into that whole spiel and they start going and they start rocking and rolling through a project, it's amazing to see their engagement level and, and how much they, they want to be a part of the project and they want to learn. It's not just for math though, it's for English, it's for science, it's for history and as a result I can incorporate all of those subjects into my math classroom and those subjects can incorporate math into theirs. We give them a foundation but it's their responsibility to take that foundation and create this entire uh, incredible learning environment. So the foundation, that's our responsibility, and we're really, really good at it. But as far as the creativity, that's where they come in. I would be teaching a novel, and I've taught this novel for years, but by wrapping it around a project, they get even more engaged, and they come in, and they want to learn about Othello. Who wants to learn about Shakespeare when they're in 10th grade? Well, these guys do. I feel like um, ever since I've entered into project-based learning, I've gotten pretty confident with myself just because I have to present in front of people and I've also realized what my, strength, my strengths and weaknesses are. You get the knowledge a lot quicker because you're not like staring at a book trying to figure out what it's saying. You can go find the source that's easiest for you to understand. It's different every day and you can't really prepare for it because you're not 
You're no longer just teaching a class, now you're facilitating the class and you're giving them what they need and you're trying to add resources and value any place that you can. That's the coolest piece is they don't even know they're learning half the time and they come out and they're like, man, I know all this stuff that I didn't know before. We're going not like an, an, an inch deep anymore, we're going a mile deep and a mile wide and then the, it gives them the opportunity to apply what they learn as well. I'm so used to, you know, relying on myself and researching and using technology as my benefit. But usually in traditional school, they're not really given laptops to, you know, do their own research or find creative ways to present. I was told that we were going to get laptops, and a laptop was basically our textbook. So I was confused. I was like, um, how is this going to work? I, I, I didn't feel comfortable with online work. My teachers just told me, don't be afraid of technology. It's most, it's, it's a tool. It's a helpful tool. If the teacher can't help you, you have something to rely on. So ECHO is the technology platform that we use to help aid in the project-based learning process. It was developed to be something like a blackboard that's used at the college level, uh, but also something like a progress book that was already currently in use at Winton Woods. It's supposed to be a form of technology that's not just utilized to check grades, but it's something that the students and teachers can interact with as well as communicate. I really like that about project-based learning. It gives me an opportunity to explore things more. It's brought me personally to the next level because the Academy of Global Studies focuses on different cultures and the NTN network combines with that. Technology has been a huge impact on project-based learning. So the three main tenets of the culture are trust, respect, and responsibility. Uh, the idea around New Tech Network is that students are in a collaborative environment with adults that happen to be facilitators rather than teachers. I don't have to be, and I am no longer the person that holds the keys to everything. And that's the best part. We explore that together. When you give them that power, you see a whole different side of them. I mean, their creativity level is through the roof and, and they, they surprise you every single day with something. Your teacher no longer becomes a teacher, they become your teacher and your friend. So you're able to communicate with them when they're having problems. When you're not understanding something in a project, you can always ask them for, for help and you're not afraid to do that. It's more of that teacher and student relationship and trust that I learned just as much she learns from me. Once we have an understanding of communication of both sides with one another, we can start to create a culture that empowers. A culture that allows students to be able to feel like they have a say, to feel like they have choice, and to feel like they matter. Once you kind of know that people are going to listen when you're speaking, it gives you this kind of confidence. As your confidence builds, so does your leadership. I can voice my opinion, I can ask questions, and I'm not afraid to receive the answer. People rely on you. You know, you're assigned to a part, and they expect you to get that part done. And if you don't, there's consequences. Being able to teach something to someone else shows the highest level of thinking and understanding. Being able to sit there and listen to your peer shows the utmost level of respect, responsibility, and trust in them. To understand that it's not just a learning experience, but it's a culture that we're building. Helping them to be able to meet everybody where they're at, helping all students to work together no matter what their strengths and weaknesses are. I think that in the beginning, people thought you had to be something special to become part of it. Well, you're special just because you're here. So embracing that attitude just makes it just go full circle for us. We found out that there was an opportunity for the Straight A Grant, and the Teaching and Learning Director along with some other people, started designing it, uh, working on it, drafting it, and it was really about the expansion of, of our new tech experience. We'll scale it all the way down to our elementary schools, uh, primary north and south, so all of our schools will have the same opportunity. So imagine a student who's had the PBL experience as a first grader or a kindergarten, and by the time he becomes a, a senior, we won't be able to hold that kid down. The things that the students gain through PBL be besides just content, outcomes that matter. Cultivating what we like to call a global citizen. Someone who not only can work with people in their local community, not only can work with people in their profession, but can collaborate with anybody, no matter who they are. 
that has opened my eyes. Like I, I am, I am a leader. I am able to communicate with anyone now. I'm able to feel comfortable with anyone and speak to them as if they were my friend, as if I already knew who you are. I feel like personally, I'm more than prepared for college because of the fact of knowing how to communicate with other people and collaborate with them and just work together. You have people from different communities, different backgrounds, different languages come together for one goal of education. I feel like project-based learning gets kids into doing fun things and wanting to learn and having an open, open mindset. I would never go back. I would not go back to the traditional way at all. Teaching project-based learning is rigorous, it's challenging, it's um, creative, it's fun, and I think my students learn better with PBL than they ever did with traditional. My scores show it, my grades show it, and the participation among my students shows it as well. When the assessments come out and it shows that these kids are doing exceptionally well, then more teachers are like, whoa, I can take a sigh of relief. We have fun and we learned at the same time. If you enjoy seeing kids really learn, if that's what you want, you want and, and you enjoy that process of seeing them really learn, really invested in what they're doing, then PBL is what you want to be doing. One day, because we believe in what we believe, one day they'll come up and say, you were number two, the second new tech district in the country, but guess what, you're really number one. This whole new tech experience is not a silver bullet, it's just a golden opportunity.